It looked like, uh, like bombs went off. The hotel made it through the storm, but the casino fell into the gulf. <laughs> yeah. Dirty Water TV has hit the road again. You won't believe where we are now. That's right, Kayla. We're here down in Biloxi, Mississippi at the Hard Rock Casino. Now, we've all had fun before at Twin River back up north, but now we're coming down south for some fun and some gambling. And we are rolling up in purple Escalades. It's crazy inside. You know what? Dirty Water TV is next. Let's get out of here. Let's go inside. Welcome to Hard Rock, y'all. Thanks for doing all right today. Yeah, buddy. Worldwide, dirty water. And I love that dirty water TV. Love that dirty water TV. I love that dirty water. Dirty water TV. Dirty water. I love that dirty water TV. I really do. The best. Ow! Hey guys, welcome to Dirty Water TV. I'm Kayla Harity. And I'm Sam Howe. Dirty Water TV has hit the road again. That's right, we've traveled all the way down here to Biloxi, Mississippi. Now there's fishing, there's water sports, there's eating, drinking, and of course music and gambling here at the Hard Rock Casino. You know, I don't hate the southern accents or the southern men. Yeah, no, let's not forget about the southern beauties either, Kayla. But the accommodations here are unreal. Our rooms are fantastic and this pool, have you seen this? It's unreal, yeah. and the hospitality is kick-ass. Yeah, see for yourselves. Welcome to Hard Rock Biloxi! We have taken you to the exciting Twin River Casino in Lincoln, Rhode Island several times in the past as they have launched table games, open restaurants, and comedy clubs. As great alternative to other New England casinos, Twin River has proven to be a one-stop shop for gaming, dining, nightlife, and entertainment in New England. Tonight, we are taking you on a little trip down south to the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Biloxi, Mississippi, Twin River's sister property. The owners of Twin River also own and manage the Hard Rock in Biloxi, among other properties throughout the U.S. We were lucky enough to get to spend a few days on the beautiful Gulf Coast, checking out this stunning resort and learning all of the reasons why it's the perfect destination for New Englanders looking for a fun getaway down south. Hey Boston, come party with us at Hard Rock Biloxi. Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Biloxi is a 1.6 acre waterfront resort located in the only walkable cluster of casinos on the Gulf Coast. It is easily accessible as visitors enter Biloxi from I-110 or Highway 90, and it's just 15 minutes from the Gulfport Airport and an hour from New Orleans. For the gaming enthusiast, Hard Rock Biloxi features 53,000 square feet of gaming space with over 1,200 slot machines and 50 table games. There are also 479 stunning hotel rooms and suites. Additional conveniences include a fitness center and spa. <sighs> Our job is so tough, Sam. But actually not today, because we are at the Rock Spa in Biloxi, Mississippi at the Hard Rock Casino being pampered. Not time for work now, Kayla. This is how we roll at Dirty Water TV. One of the coolest things about staying at the Hard Rock Casino in Biloxi is that you can get a complimentary guitar sent to your room. Yeah, you can literally stay in your room all day and just jam out. Unless there is a pool party, downstairs. Yeah, but the band might need us. There are also two dance clubs. Boogie Nights! And if you like to dance, head to Boogie Nights, our 70s and 80s dance club every weekend. Thank you very much! Dance after dark and remix live with the best DJs on the coast. It's been a hit from the 90s and today. Nine bars and eight restaurants, including Half Shell Oyster House, Ruth Chris Steakhouse, Tequila's on the Gulf, Satisfaction Buffet, Pie Pie Pizza Company. They literally make 
pies in under five minutes. I think that deserves a high five, yeah. a pie high five. What do you think, Sam? Mm -hmm. On point. Mm -hmm. Also, 24-7 Grill, Ben & Jerry's, Starbucks. And the legendary Hard Rock Cafe. Sam, we are at the Hard Rock Casino, so it just makes sense that we would check out the Hard Rock Cafe. Yeah, that's where the soul of the brand came from. So let's go check out some rock and roll history. Hey, welcome to the Hard Rock Cafe. We try to spread the spirit of rock and roll through authentic spirits that rock with kick-ass service, you know? You come here, you get to see all the memorabilia, and you gamble, of course, the cool rocks. Um, the drinks are great, and um, it's a great atmosphere. It's fun. And of course, living up to their hard rock roots, their famous 9,000 square foot theater, Hard Rock Live. can accommodate over 2,000 guests for headline entertainment. We've had Duran Duran, we've had Kid Rock, we've had Styx, Daughtry, I mean, REO Speedwagon, it just goes on and on. We've um, we've played hundreds of acts since we've opened in 2007. Wow, the we love the concerts here. We come to all the shows. It's a blast. Yeah, we love it. It's a fantastic venue, great place to see live music. Slaughter and Great White so far for me. Heart was pretty damn good though. Yeah. Not about heart. It's not about heart. Yeah, heart kicked ass. Yeah. For an incredible resort experience along the beautiful Gulf of Mexico, head to the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Biloxi, the perfect getaway for a New Englander looking for a new, exciting vacation destination with family or friends, as there is something for everybody at the Hard Rock. Well, that was just a little taste of what the Hard Rock has to offer. There's so much more to this unique property. Here's what's on tap. Our good friend Megan McGinnis will stop by to talk Hard Rock music and why guests here have a truly authentic Hard Rock experience. We'll hit the scrumptious half shell at Hard Rock and talk with General Manager Stephen Godfrey. We'll also take you to Tequila's on the Gulf, the Hard Rock's newest restaurant that features a full menu poolside. Speaking of the pool, we'll bring you inside the ultimate pool party. We're the girls from Hard Rock Biloxi, and we love that dirty water TV. Joining us now is Paul Giuliano, director of the hotel operations here. Now, Paul, it's my understanding that you're new here to the Gulf region, uh, coming from Florida. Obviously, in Florida, they, they know a lot about pools. And what do you think of this pool here? I mean, this pool here, being against the Gulf with this background, it really doesn't get any better. Uh, the Gulf Coast stacks up against anywhere else in Florida. It's awesome. You have a new restaurant here, Tequila's. I love tequila. It sounds like it's going to be an awesome place. Tell us a little bit about Tequila Sundays. Yeah, well, Tequila Sundays is our day club experience out here at the pool. Uh, it's when we get to uh, let our hair down a little bit, relax, and enjoy. Uh, we've got sexy people. We've got great food. You can eat light. You can eat heavy. You can do anything you want, really. The tequila bar concept is really fun. We've got flights of tequila. We've got single tacos or we've got whole party trays. The idea is a little something for everyone, even uh, the Americano menu for those of us that don't venture into Mexican cuisine, uh, but it's really fun and the idea is just to kick it, relax. I mean there's so much going on here at the pool on Tequila Sundays, you also have live music. You have these great restaurant concepts to start it, You've got this beautiful product with these great colors out here. And then to boot, you have live music. So we go DJ, band, and they alternate up and in between and keep everybody on their toes. Right now we're in DJ mode, so always a good time. There's a signature item I think that you guys offer. Is it a tequila watermelon slice, something like that? Yes, the adult watermelon. <laughs> I insisted we have some adult watermelon on the menu. So throw it back to college, days where you used to soak a watermelon in tequila. Literally is just that. So it's soaked in Patron silver. You get four slices on a plate. You eat and drink at the same time. It doesn't get any better. Absolutely. Refreshing Sounds delicious, a little bit dangerous, but I'm, I'm ready to try anything. <laughs> the accommodations here are absolutely gorgeous and the hospitality is amazing. We've got a brand new tower open in, uh, in February 2014. Some of the most beautiful rooms I've ever seen. It worked around a lot of different hotels in, in luxury and we have absolutely the, the identity of luxury here. It's beautiful. Our cabana suites on the bottom floor, sky suites on the top and every room in between. We've got great views of the Gulf and everything's modern, updated. The decor is great and bright and really beautiful rooms. Well, everyone's coming here for the gaming. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, the gaming space here really is beautiful. The layout's great with our center bar in the middle, live entertainment happening all the time. 
and you've got blackjack, you've got mini bock, you've got great table games, and we're, we're recruiting a lot more table players to play here at the same time, and we're offering a great product for our slot customers. It really is the whole package. When you've got a place like this to relax, it's a resort and casino. It's not your traditional hotel. I think the party's about to get started. Who's that water? Hey, -o. Yes. <gasps> Yum. Oh, God. <laughs> Juicy. Yeah, it has to be. Three, Cheers. two, one. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Yum. Yep. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Yep. You have to come to Tequila's on the Gulf to try this. You can't replicate it anywhere else. <laughs> Up next, Megan McGinnis stops by to talk all things Hard Rock. We'll have more from the Hard Rock Casino in Biloxi, Mississippi. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Hey, do you wish you could be at Fenway Park watching the Red Sox from the Green Monster? Find mass money and you can. Find out if you're on a list of people waiting to claim their share of over $2 billion in unclaimed property. That's what I call a home run. Visit findmassmoney.com or call 1-888-344-MASS and find your mass money today. The atmosphere, the people here that work here always make us feel welcome. Um, the drinks, the food, all of it, it's great. Just a great environment, absolutely, great atmosphere. The atmosphere is awesome, the pool is awesome, the bars are great, I mean, just everything about it is just first class. Welcome back, y'all, to Dirty Water TV. Uh, I'll work on that accent while we're down here, but I'm <laughs> Sam Howe. And I'm Kayla Harrity. And that was uh, former NFL offensive lineman Brent Smith talking about how much he loves the Hard Rock Casino down here in Biloxi, Mississippi. We love the Hard Rock Casino, and that's why we're joined by our girl, Megan McGinnis. Normally you see her and us at Twin River Casino, but we're actually in Biloxi, Mississippi at the Hard Rock Casino. The Hard Rock seems like such an iconic brand to work for, and also such a super fun brand to work for. Yeah, I'm so glad you guys are here. How cool is this? They're all about music and providing guests with authentic experiences that rock. And as you guys can see, if you've been here a few days, you can tell it's just music is at the core of everything we do, every amenity we have. Um, it's, it's, it's awesome. Back in 2005, obviously Katrina hit down here. How did that affect uh, the opening of, of this place? Yeah, we were scheduled to open in 2005, the day after Katrina hit. So this place was locked and loaded, ready to go, and unfortunately Katrina came and wiped out this entire region so um, we had to rebuild uh, along with everyone in this community kind of had to come together um, but this this property specifically was pretty iconic at the time as we have a large guitar in the front of the property and it was one of the few things still remaining after Katrina hit something still standing and a little hope for everybody but it's a beautiful beautiful place I don't think people in New England understand how beautiful the Gulf Coast is um, people from the Midwest have been coming here for a long time and have known about it but I think in New England um, we, you know don't come here too often so it's it's awesome and it, we just wanted to show you guys how amazing it is. I know you probably don't want to brag, but the Hard Rock Casino here has won multiple awards, 15 to be exact. 15 this year alone, it's crazy. We're doing really well. We've won Best Hotel, um, US News and World Report. We've won Forbes Recommended Hotel, um, a lot of local awards for Best Casino. There's nine casinos in this market, so if you're a gamer, coming to the Gulf Coast is, is a perfect place for you. There's a lot of opportunities. Of course, we're the best option out of all these properties. There's something for everybody from young to old. Um, certainly the casino is amazing, but all of our dining spots, the Ruth Chris, the Half Shell Oyster House. We have Boogie Nights, a nightclub, a 70s and 80s nightclub, which I'm sure you'll get to see at some point in your visit. And of course, our amazing pool. We have one of the best pools in the market. So it, it's an awesome, awesome spot. Great for a, a getaway for a New Englander to come down and enjoy some fun in the sun. All right, so Megan, I want to know a little bit more about the Hard Rock Brand. Yeah, the Hard Rock has uh, 192 locations in 60 countries. It's a massive, well-known global brand. Started as a cafe in London in the 70s and has since exploded to hotels and casinos, and it, it keeps growing and growing. They're, they have a lot of expansion plans in the coming years. Music is at the core of everything you do, every experience you have here. We have a Sound of Your Stay program where when you check in, you can request a Fender guitar sent to your room, a mixing board, all these really cool things to enjoy complimentary while you stay here. So it's, um, it's certainly a differentiator for us in this market, something we provide that no other casino does is just a really authentic, kick-ass experience. The location here is perfect, and what a, there's a big pool party going on here tonight. Yeah, yeah, we gotta go check it out. Tequila, <laughs> let's go. Let's do this. This property 
has so many great restaurants. I think we've almost tried them all. Yeah, and steak is a favorite part of my diet. And last night we got to sit down with the general manager of probably the best steakhouse here in Biloxi. Everybody knows the Roos Chris brand and they know Hard Rock and it's seamless. You, you, you come in and get a good, good casino experience and the best dining experience on the coast. What are some specialty items that everyone, everyone loves coming here for? Our quintessential New York strip, which is um, our owner and founder's favorite, Miss Ruth Fertel. That was our favorite cut. Do you recommend bringing out like an, a 2008 Opus to the pool and drink it poolside? I don't know about an Opus, <laughs> but a nice crisp Sauvignon Blanc. Jerry here, now he can recommend you a good steak pair inside. He can also recommend a good wine poolside. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> We'll have more from the Hard Rock. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Sam Howe. And I'm Kayla Harrity. And the energy here, Kayla, at the Hard Rock Casino in Biloxi is unreal. The pool party is just starting. I love the bands. You know, this property has so much to offer. Yeah, and food, again, being one of the mainstays here at the Hard Rock Casino, we got to dabble in some southern cuisine last night at one of their best restaurants, the Half Shell Oyster House. <laughs> This restaurant is really cool and it has an awesome story behind it. Can you tell us a little bit about how Half Shell got brought into Hard Rock Casino? Absolutely. We basically, we were across the street and we still are, actually about two blocks from here. And one of the owners came in one day and uh, fell in love with the restaurant, came back the next day and had to wait almost an hour and a half to get in and uh, basically came up and asked for the owner. A couple weeks went by and next thing I knew we were coming over here. We've actually had a very good response here. Uh, a lot of the players and uh, staff here at the Hard Rock have been very welcoming and uh, we've done phenomenal over here so far. Um, actually exceeded our expectations and still had our record sales across the street. Well, yeah, so adding on to that, I guess the, the partnership here with the Hard Rock Casino has been a pretty good one for you guys so far, right? Absolutely. It brought us a lot of, of great brand recognition. Um, we still have people that come in all the time and say, hey, we didn't know you guys were here. When's y'all open? And we've been here for almost five months now. You know, taken very well to the Hard Rock name, and uh, we're just happy to be part of it. So you we guys are. got the good golf oysters down here. Now tell us a little bit about some of your specialty food items. We do. We are an oyster house. Um, most of our menu stems from that, uh, but we do offer wide variety of seafood. We do offer steaks. Um, we actually here at this particular location, we have a sushi bar over in the corner, which is only for this particular restaurant right. and, not, and not at any of our other six locations. Uh, but we offer a wide variety of seafood, fish, rural red shrimp, um, local shrimp. We, we try to do the, the local Gulf seafood as much as possible when it's available. And what's your favorite item on the menu? Uh, actually, I have two. One would be uh, the seafood part would definitely be the, the royal red shrimp. It's a, a deep water shrimp. Very good. Tastes like a, a kind of like a succulent lobster. Uh, and the second item would have to be the uh, filet orleans, which is a, a filet um, that has the shrimp and uh, our famous barbecue sauce uh, right on top. There's an oyster cook-off every year in uh, the Gulf Shores area. It's at the Hangout Fest. And a couple years ago, we beat out 70 competitors and we won first place with our Orleans oyster. And that Orleans sauce we use on the oysters, we use it on the uh, filet Orleans, we use it in a shrimp, and we do a shrimp Orleans. Um, and it's really become a staple, I guess, of our menu. Uh, we've offered it on several different items, and everything, it just it, it goes over very well. Everybody seems to love it. So the ambiance here is really cool. You have this awesome dining room with a view of the water. Can you talk a little bit about the decor and the vibe here? We obviously have a New Orleans uh, decor here. A lot of the items that you guys have seen through here, as well as our 50-foot mural, highlight New Orleans. And uh, a lot of the things on our menu you kind of represent that but if you look around most of the the fixtures and whatnot our owner actually went to New Orleans and everything you see in here even down to the um, the wainscoting is uh, reclaimed out of New Orleans a lot of the, the doors and things of that nature that we've cut down all the stained glass actually came out of a church in St. Louis uh, so the ambiance here is definitely the New Orleans feel uh, but we're right here in Biloxi at the Hard Rock. I love it. Authentic food authentic vibe I'm excited to be here. This place is awesome I'm hungry. Sam, I tried grits for the first time last night. Southern food has proved to be so delicious. Yeah, except Kayla, I'd have to be at the gym every single day if I lived down here. Although I could dance it off if I wanted to at the nightclub, Boogie Nights. Do 70s and 80s music, a lot of dance, the disco, just a great vibe, a good feel in the club. What do you guys think of Boogie Night? It's fantastic. I love this place. I can't wait for my parents to come. I love it so much. Boogie Night rocks! Woo! It's awesome, yes! Yeah. 
Up next, we'll wrap things up from the Hard Rock Casino. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Hey y'all, welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Kayla Harrity. And I'm Sam Howe. Sam, I think we've officially become Southern Sweethearts. Yeah, listen, everyone back in New England, you need to come down here to the beautiful Gulf and stay at the Hard Rock Casino Biloxi. I cannot wait to come back, but first, we have a lot of people to thank tonight. Megan McGinnis, Ali Odom. Phil and Paul Giuliano, and of course, the whole staff here at the Hard Rock in Biloxi. But you know, in Boston, we have a saying on Dirty Water TV, the weekend may be over. Yeah, but the party never ends. Right here on Dirty Water TV. In Biloxi, Mississippi. Let's party! Woo!